Telemetry products have been available for a number of years to the RC community, but this meant we had to rely on third-party devices that operated outside of our radio systems. Since the release of 2.4 GHz spread spectrum technology, radio manufacturers can take advantage of the fact that it supports natively bidirectional communications. So not only can we transmit information to our receivers like control inputs, but our receivers can send back to us in real time information across the data channel. Since the release of their 2.4 GHz AFHSS systems, HiTech has been deploying what has become the most comprehensive and versatile telemetry suite fully integrated into their 2.4 GHz radios. In this series, we're going to take a look at all those products in Part 1. In Part 2, we'll take a look at installation best practices. In Part 3, we'll talk about how to get the information off the devices, either in real time or in a stored fashion through logging and retrieval or recording and playback. So the first thing to do is to take a look at the products. So let's get started. Sensors can be grouped into two primary categories, and we'll start with the ones that provide systems monitoring. The HTSC50 is a 50 amp current sensor. The measurement range is 0 to 50 amps at a resolution of 0.1 amps. This is a non-invasive sensor, so you don't have to splice or cut any wires and install it, although you may have to remove and reattach your ESC connector so you can slip the positive wire through the induction ring. Its big brother, the HTSC200, is perfect for higher power setups where current draws exceed 50 amps. The C200 is a little less granular with a measurement resolution in 1 amp increments. The HTS volt measures DC voltage up to 100 volts. The measurement resolution is in 0.1 volt increments. Now keep in mind that any high-tech receiver with an SPC port or supplemental power connection can measure pack voltages up to 35 volts without the need for any telemetry stations. But for higher power setups, you'll need to use the HTS volt sensor and a sensor station. HTS temp sensors can measure the temperature of just about anything in your model from negative 40 to 392 degrees Fahrenheit. This includes ambient temperatures, ESCs, BECs, or batteries, for example. There's also the HTS E-Temp engine temperature sensor. The specs are the same as the HTS Temp, but the E-Temp sensor is encased in a metal sleeve and comes with a couple mounting brackets, so you can bolt it directly to an engine casing. The HTS ORPM sensor is an optical RPM sensor that's best used for helicopters. Mounting the sensor on the boom pointed up at the main rotor blades will produce the most accurate results. There's also the HTS MRPM magnetic RPM sensor that has a wider range of applications and higher accuracy. The sensor comes with a rare earth magnet that gets mounted on your motor, clutch housing, brushless outrunner drum, spinner backplate, or just about any rotating part that can accommodate the installation. The package also includes a couple spare magnets. The HTS fuel sensor attaches to the outside of a glow engine's fuel tank and provides a five-step reading of the fuel level. Now keep in mind the sensor is for glow fuel only. The HTS fuel does ship with a few different size sensor pads to accommodate different size tanks. The HTS SM Servo Manager collects servo performance data for up to four channels and relays the information real time to the sensor station. This is a great sensor for multiple servo installations like giant scale aircraft where it's common to have two or more servos for a single control service. But the HTS SM works for any 4.8, 6, or 7.4 volt analog or digital servo installation. Next we'll move on to our flight instrument sensors. The HTS AS is an airspeed sensor that follows a traditional approach of static and dynamic air pressure. The pack comes with silicone tubing and also a brass pitot tube that you install in the nose of the aircraft or anywhere you can get a clean airstream like the leading edge of a wing away from the fuselage. One of the most enjoyable flight instruments is the HTS GPS. This GPS sensor provides altitude, ground speed, latitude, and longitude information back to the pilot. It also triangulates the pilot's distance from the model. Sensors connect to sensor stations. HiTech currently offers three sensor stations that offer a focus on a particular application. The HTS SS Advanced Sensor Station can accommodate all the current telemetry sensors, but is unique to the Servo Manager Sensor, the Variometer Sensor, and the Airspeed Sensor. These three sensors can only connect to the HTS SS Advanced Station. The SS Advanced is available standalone or in bundles like the Advanced Full Combo, the Advanced Glider Combo, or the Advanced Upgrade Combo, each bundled with a mix of sensors to fit different applications. The HTS SS Nitro was the first sensor station released and is focused on glow fuel aircraft. It offers compatibility with a base selection of sensors for monitoring temperatures, fuel levels, motor RPM, rotor blade RPM, and GPS. It's available as well in combo packs such as the full combo, the optical RPM combo, or the magnetic RPM combo. The HTS SS Blue for electrics offers compatibility with the GPS, RPM, and standard temperature sensors, but drops the fuel and engine temp sensors for the addition of the HTS Volt and the HTS C50 and C200 current sensors. With the current volt sensors installed, the HTS SS Blue can calculate wattage consumption in real time as a third critical data point. The HTS SS Blue is available standalone or in optional combo packs as well, such as the full combo, the 50 amp combo, or the 200 amp combo. 
The other half of the equation is the radio systems. We'll begin with the compatible transmitters. Hitech's flagship radio, the Aurora 9, is capable of displaying all telemetry data on its backlit LCD touchscreen, as well as set audible alert thresholds for sensor data limits. The Aurora 9 is a full-featured 9-channel 2.4-gig AFHSS radio transmitter with a host of features that make it not only a great choice for their telemetry suite, but as your go-to radio for sailplanes, helicopters, and fixed-wing power planes. The Eclipse 7 Pro is a versatile 7-channel 2.4-gig AFHSS transmitter with acro, heli, and glider mixing as well. It offers a top-position white backlit LCD screen that can display basic telemetry data, making it easy to reference at a glance for pilots while flying. The Optic 6 sports an affordable and versatile 6-channel transmitter that's also compatible with the telemetry suite and offers acro, glider, and heli programming as well. However, unlike the Eclipse or Aurora, the Optic 6 Sport is unable to display telemetry data on its LCD screen, but that by no means makes it impractical. There are a wide range of high-tech data interface options that plug right into this Optic 6 Sport to relay information to the pilot during flight. The telemetry-compatible receivers include the Optima 7 and the Optima 9, 7 and 9 channel AFHSS receivers. Hitech also offers replacement modules for some of their older module-based radio systems. These Spectra modules are 2.4 gig AFHSS based as well and are fully compatible with the data interfaces that connect to the module's data port. In addition to their own module-based transmitters, Hitech also offers a Spectra 2.4J module that fits in a variety of JR transmitters, including the 9303 and the 11X. The 2.4J module is telemetry compatible and includes a data port for connections to the telemetry data interfaces which we'll cover right now. Starting with the HTSI view, using the data port included on the radios and modules we just discussed, you can relay sensor information to your iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch device. Download the free HTSI view software from the App Store, plug in the HTSI view module, and you're ready to go. Currently, the iView software supports temperature, RPM, GPS, fuel, current, and voltage data, which is displayed real time and can also be recorded for playback and review post flight. The HTS Navi USB receiver is actually ID linked to your transmitter, just like a typical receiver. And then telemetry data is transmitted to the HTS Navi in real time. The Navi plugs into a PC's USB port, and with the free HPP22 software from Hitech's website, you've got a virtual instrument panel on your PC screen. You can also save the entire flight session for later playback. The HTS Voice telemetry voice announcing system plugs into the data port and actually announces the telemetry information during your flight. It has a 3.5mm earphone port and also comes with mounting hardware for installing it on the handle of any high-tech radio. Full setup and configuration requires the HPP22 programming interface. The HPP22 USB PC interface is a must-have if you want to get the most out of all your high-tech hardware. The HPP22 allows you to transfer or backup model profiles from transmitters or update firmware on receivers, transmitters, telemetry devices, and spectra modules. The HPP22 can connect to the data port on your transmitter and relay telemetry data to your PC as well. It's also critical for the configuration of some telemetry interfaces, so it's a smart and low-cost investment that not only keeps you up to date with the latest features, but adds product functionality as firmware versions evolve.